what is up guys welcome back to another video today i have a little bit of a different but a special video for you guys let's say if you recently upgraded to windows 11 and you want to get the maximum performance while you're gaming if that's the case this video is for you because in this video i'm gonna bring you guys 12 of the most important settings that you need to have to get the maximum gaming performance in windows 11. there are a lot of tutorials out there in the youtube regarding the same topic but most of them are longer videos showing a lot of unnecessary steps so in this video i'm only gonna show in the most essential tips that you need to have in order to increase the gaming performance to the maximum most of the settings that i'm gonna include today are very basic but extremely important so if you have a low-end PC or laptop or even a high-end system, you're definitely going to notice an increase in gaming performance. And all of these settings are very easy to do. If you don't like any of these settings, you can easily reverse it back without any issues. Alright guys, so before moving on, I would suggest you guys to hit that subscribe button and join the notification squad so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And shout out to everyone who commented on my previous video. And if this video can reach 100 likes, that would be much appreciated. So without further do guys let's get right into the video all right guys let's start with some of the basic settings first of all make sure you're running the latest version of windows 11 because as a new operating system there could be a lot of bugs and fixes coming out regularly so it is extremely important to have the latest versions so in order to get the latest version just go to the windows settings app and down below you will find the windows update bar in here just click the check for updates button and if there is any updates any new updates it will automatically start downloading and installing after that just restart your pc and you're good to go all right step number two is upgrading your graphic drivers so whether you have an nvidia graphics card amd graphics card or intel hd graphics it is extremely important to have the latest version of your graphics drivers all right if you have an nvidia graphics card uh, just right click on your desktop and go to show more option and then open up the nvidia control panel and in here it will show the which version of the graphics drivers you are running right now and to get the latest version of the graphics drivers just go to the nvidia drivers website i will link it in the description and just select the which graphic card model that you have and it will show up the drivers you can easily download and start installing and you can also do the same for the amd graphics card as well as intel hd graphics and i will link all of these website down in the video description all right guys next open up the task manager just by clicking Control alt and f4 and then go to startups in here you will find all the startup programs of your system and make sure to disable all the unnecessary apps that you have in my case i disable pretty much everything because i don't need any of these programs to start automatically when the windows booted up but if you're playing games like valorant the vanguard anti-cheat system the application will show up here so make sure to not disable it because otherwise you won't be able to launch into the game all right guys next we remove all the unnecessary junk files that your system have right now and clean up your drivers overall in order to do that hit the windows key plus r to start up run and then just type temp and hit enter in here you can see all the unnecessary temporary file that your system have you can select all of these items and just remove this and clear up some of the space after that we will hit the windows plus r again to start up the run and now we are typing percentage temp percentage in here you will also find some of the unnecessary files that you have and just select all of them and remove from the system all right after that we will enable the game mode inside windows 11 so just open up your settings app and then go to gaming and in here you will find three options first of all make sure you are disable the xbox game bar unless you're using it for some of the games and then go back and go to the third option game mode and make sure you are turning on the game mode because in windows 11 it definitely help you to get the maximum performance while you're gaming all right next we are going to disable all the unnecessary notification because we don't need to get disturbed while we are in an intense gaming session all right in order to do that go to the settings app and under the system tab you will find the notification and in here you will find some of the application that will show up notifications 
and in here down below you will find two options make sure to disable both of these because we don't need any of that then you can disable notification for some of the selected applications or you can completely disable the notification i personally prefer that way all right then open up the system app again and in the system tab you will find the display option and in here make sure you are running at 100 percent scale as recommended and also make sure to run on the native resolution of your monitor and also down below you will find the advanced display option open it up and make sure you are running the maximum refresh rate of your monitor for an example my primary monitor has 240 hertz and my secondary one has 165 hertz so it is extremely important to change this small setting because you might miss this and accidentally run on 60 hertz even though you have a high refresh rate monitor which is extremely disappointing all right guys next we are going to change the power plans of your system go to the search bar and type power and you will find the option called choose a power plan and in here you will find three different power options so if you are using a laptop i would recommend you guys to keep this to balanced or even high performance but if you are using a pc make sure to set this to high performance to get the maximum out of it but if you want more performance you can enable the ultimate performance power plan by simply following my steps open up the search and type command prompt in here you have to add a certain command to activate the ultimate performance mode i will put the command in the video description you guys can just copy and paste it here and hit enter then it will automatically enable the ultimate performance mode and then go back to the previous tab and just refresh it and you will find the ultimate performance power plan then select it and we are going to do some modifications here go to change plan settings and then go to change advanced power settings and then in here make sure to set the turn off hard disk after option to zero minutes and also go down below and find the processor power management option and make sure to set the minimum and the maximum to 100% All right, next up we are going to enable the auto HDR option in Windows 11. This option is only applicable if you have a HDR supported monitor. All right, go to the settings option and under the system you will find the display and in here you can enable the HDR option of your monitor. And also down below you will find the auto HDR option. You can simply enable it as well. This will definitely help you to get the better image quality, especially when you're playing video games. It will give you more detail and brighter image compared to the other SDR options. All right, then we are going to the settings option again and under the personalization, you will find the option called background and open it up and make sure you are set your display wallpaper option to a picture or a solid color rather than setting it to a slideshow because it will use your system resources and overall slow down your system and then go back and go to the colors option and in here you will find the transparency effect and make sure to disable it because it will have a negative impact on your system performance. All right, finally, we are going to change the digital vibrance of your system. This is only applicable if you have an NVIDIA graphics card with GTX or higher, but I'm not sure there is a similar option for AMD graphics card as well. Anyway, guys, just right click on your desktop and go to show more options and then open up the NVIDIA control panel. And in here on the right hand side, you will find an option called adjust desktop color settings. And then down below, you will find an option called digital vibrance. At default, it's set to 50%, but I recommend you guys to set this to at least 70% or higher because it will increase the brightness and the color contrast of your display. And overall, it gives you a very bright and colorful image and it's extremely helpful while gaming. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for this video and I hope this video helpful for anyone who try to get the maximum gaming performance in Windows 11. So if you like this video, make sure to drop a like and I catch you guys in my next video. Stay safe.